Hey everybody, how you doing? Dash and Dave here again. All right, Friday, March 11th, 2022. It's about 10 after 8. Just pulled in town, sitting here at Panera Bread. Got a DoorDash shift scheduled for 9. Rody is still delivering groceries for Walmart. I mentioned that they had sent me an email and uh, March 3rd was supposed to be the last day, but they're still doing it. I did a couple runs yesterday. I've uh, been kind of slow, uh, not a lot of dashers out there, I think. Number one, I think the college kids are buckling down on studies and or other obligations. It's cold, not the best weather out. Gas prices are high. Heck, I think I mentioned uh, in another video, the, the catering video, I'm in West Ames getting order offers that originate in East Ames. I'm in East Ames and I'm getting order offers that originate in West Ames that are separated by seven miles. When that McDonald's hits when I am in East Ames, that means there's nobody out there. So that's good that the competition has lowered a little bit. I've also talked to a DoorDasher here in town and he's a multi-apper. He runs Uber Eats along with DoorDash and he keeps telling me I need to do that. I'm leaving money on the table. So I've signed up for Uber Eats, got it all installed. We've got it running. I've really gotten used to that DoorDash floating widget which shows you two pieces of information that you do not see on the initial offer screen before you accept the offer. That's the customer name and the full physical address including the apartment number. You do not see that on Uber Eats. There's probably some apps out there that you can use to find that information. Uh, but, uh, you know, there's some uh, massive apartment complexes here in town and some of them I don't want to deliver to during busy times. And uh, there's a cu couple customers that I just assume not deliver to anymore. So the Uber Eats, you know, I'm brand new to that. Haven't even made one delivery. I've got it on. I'm online. It says I'm in a busy area. I had one offer just before I started this, and it was too far away. But this uh, DoorDasher here in town, he says, you know, Uber Eats is not nearly as frequent as DoorDash is or, uh, you know, over the whole day. DoorDash is king here. But he finds it useful during the slow periods, you know, to fill in the blanks, if you will. And he also says that generally he has found that they pay a little bit better than DoorDash. Okay, so uh, let's see, Monday I worked, Tuesday I had to go in for jury duty and I got selected. That was a whole day affair, only one day. It was an OWI case and we convicted him. Tuesday I visited the tax man, got some information from him, and like I said, I'll be making a tax video here before too long. I need to gather a little bit more information. All right, well, been sitting here about 10 minutes. Got that one offer here on Uber Eats, but nothing since. They don't have heat maps or anything like that. You know, uh, you know, I started with DoorDash, and usually it doesn't really matter what you start with, but when you start with something, it usually is your baby, the one that you like more than anything else. And, uh, you know, uh, DoorDash is my baby. That's going to be my bread and butter. And, and you know, like I said, not having all of the information at my uh, disposal here with Uber Eats is uh, feels a little limiting. I understand in certain markets, watching some videos on YouTube, that on Uber Eats, if you do not accept 50% of the offers that they send you, I've seen the screen that a uh, YouTuber put up. They tell you right up front that you're below 50%, and we're not going to show you the restaurant you're going to be going to, and we're not going to show you the address of where you're going to make the delivery. Yeah, okay. DoorDash is king. They're buying up places, and they're buying up startups. You know, they haven't made a dime in pure profit, but that doesn't mean anything. But uh, I think DoorDash is the way to go. You know, they're they're going to be the leader. They're going to be the one that's around all the time. You know, they may get in. We already know that. I've delivered games from GameStop. So, you know, they're just branching out. And, you know, we're in on the ground floor here right now. And who knows where it's going to go. All right. Well, uh, things are slow. And like I said, I'm getting orders from West Ames when I'm in East Ames and, and East Ames when I'm in West I haven't been out to West Ames yet, but anyway, uh, things are hitting pretty good. Uh, that one I'm not going to take. Uh, but uh, a lot of cash coming my way, and by that I mean three people have tipped me cash so far. Two fives and now just a three. Of course, he, he left me a damn good tip already, so this kid here at uh, the residence halls 
So I think I'm at uh, $23 in cash and $38 on the meter. So the people, thank you, thank you. Those that are tipping in cash or, you know, I mean, all the orders that I took were well within my metric and then, you know, more cash coming my way. So people, you know, there's, there's good people out there. We know that. So again, uh, none of you are gonna see this, but thank you one more time. All right, happy Saturday, March 12th, 2022. It's a little after eight, 802, sitting here at Panera Bread. Officially yesterday was the last day of classes at ISU, and for most places, you know, this is the start of one of the spring break weeks. So it'll be real interesting to see how next week goes there's going to be a dramatic decrease in customer base for DoorDash and other food delivery out in Campus Town College because those kids are on spring break. At the same time, some of those that are on spring break are my competition, direct competition, you know, delivering the food. Now, the thing about that is, is we're, we're in a really, really slow time here in my market as everybody else is. And the kids have not been delivering near as much as they have. They've been, you know, buckling down on studies and everything. And I have, and I think I mentioned this on the uh, catering gig, I can be in East Ames and I pick up job offers for West Ames or I'm in West Ames and I pick up job offers for East, East Ames, separated by four and a half, five miles. That means nobody's near Chick-fil-A when I'm all the way out there in West Ames. That's why I get the offer. So that's very interesting. You know, there's, it's slow, but the competition is down too. Haven't quite been making my $20 an hour. It's been close, $18.75 or something like that you know, with all the apps uh, involved. And that's okay, you know, there's gonna be slow times. It's gonna pick up. Food delivery is not gonna go away. Uh, gas prices are through the roof, yeah. We're paying 387 here in town. And, you know, with old Speedwagon here, that, that costs a pretty penny. I was talking to somebody, I think, on uh, Pedro DoorDash Santiago's uh, channel. Anyway, he was saying he waits, he, he, he lets it get, get down to a half a tank and then he fills it up. Another guy says, you don't wanna have all that weight in your vehicle the weight of gas in your tank is you know it doesn't even really count against your mileage it's it's not that much in speed wagon with a 25 gallon tank that's 150 pounds that's just a person so don't worry about that i told him i said fill up every day and he says i don't understand that and i said well look at it this way if gas costs a buck a gallon and it goes up a buck every day over a 10-day period and you have a 10 gallon tank and you put in a gallon at a dollar, a gallon at two, and a gallon at three, and so on and so forth, that's gonna be like, I think, $46 cheaper than waiting until the tank is empty and filling up at 10 bucks a gallon, if you follow me there. So anyway, I haven't, okay, we just went pink. It's 8.07, I had time set for eight to two. We're gonna dash now on the DoorDash thing, and then we're also gonna get Uber Eats going. The other thing I don't really quite like about, well, I'm, just, I'm learning the, the Uber Eats app is uh okay there's uh, uh delivery for uber eats 390 2.3 miles that's a negative and uh chick-fil-a 0.6 miles 575 doordash wins that one we'll take a look at the old okay i can't take that one uh, pear tree i've been there before okay so we will take that one and while we're at it in 300 feet what i'm gonna do here oh boy i'm getting uh, a lot of uh, uber eats hits while we're doing the chick filet for doordash i am gonna go offline so i don't hear that noise uh there we go okay one of those were uh, pretty good it was like a ten dollar order for five miles that's two bucks per mile that meets my metric but it was all the way out in town and this one here is five dollars for 0.8 miles so I'll, I'll bring, give you an update on how this uber eats thing's going like i said i really you know they show you where you pick it up and then they'll show you a cross street like that one there was south 16th and cross street of something else you know where you go pick it up it's also kind of weird when you show up at least this was my first experience with my first job with uber eats i got over here to chick-fil-a and got within the area and it said, all right, let's make a delivery. You know, there was no button to confirm. And I thought that was kind of odd. So, all right, well, I'll check in with you later on in the day and let you know how things are going. 
you know maybe this is it for the video i don't know we'll see how it goes i've just got a few hours scheduled today kind of supplement the slow week that i had and then hitting it hard and heavy uh, next week and that's going to be real interesting like i said with all the college kids gone so all right all right so my uber eats career thus far is three deliveries deep we're looking at my very first Uber Eats job here. This was late on Friday. I had shut the app off because uh, I wasn't getting a lot of hits from it as things slowed down, so I just ran DoorDash. And uh, it, every time an Uber Eats hit, it was one I was doing a DoorDash run. I couldn't do both at the same time, you know. And anyway, so I ended up shutting off the uh, Uber Eats app until late in the day. Uh, picked this one up. It kind of led me out of town on the way home. Uh, $4.22. Uh, the delivery distance was given at two miles, so it met the metric and, you know, got me heading the right direction to head home. Saturday morning, I get an Uber Eats run picking up coffees from Starbucks and delivering them to a local hair cutting college. Now, Uber Eats has a totally different pay structure and a different way of doing things. Much like uh, I mentioned before on Roadie, on Roadie, after you made a delivery, the customer had up to 48 hours to adjust the tip up or down based on your service. It is built right into the uh, app. Uh, DoorDash does not have such a feature. You can change the tips and all that. I think you can go up on the app, but if you need to go down, I think you need to call support. And so I get this Starbucks run. The estimate for this tip is $14.42, including upfront tip, and the customer tipped you even more after delivery. Very nice. Now, here's the thing. When I completed this Starbucks delivery, remember the intended amount was $14.42. When I finished the job, it was showing $6.42. I'm thinking, what the you know did they tip bait me or what's going on you know and, and that's before i remembered and realized that the customer built into the uber eats app has an hour after the delivery in order to adjust the tip so you know i'm sitting here really kind of steaming <laughs> and uh, you know i'm out eight bucks or whatever and then about an hour later you know i was checking the earnings things and then i see this screen here that we've been looking at so ultimately i was paid 15.85 they adjust the tip yes they did they adjusted it up thank you very much ladies appreciate it now this was the screen that i saw when i was checking my earnings and as you see here there's a send thanks for tip button built right into the uber eats app tap that yeah had to tap it every time all right i like that that's kind of cool during lunch on Saturday, I took my third Uber Eats job. It was a pickup at Chick-fil-A, and you see here I made $9.43. So, so far in my Uber Eats career here, I've been to Chick-fil-A twice and Starbucks once. So this is what I've learned about Uber Eats so far in my market. Uh, like that other DoorDasher had told me, when they're hitting, they're hitting pretty hard, and that's during the very busy peak times. And when it's slow, holy smokes, not a peep out of this Uber Eats app. It's going to be real interesting to see what restaurants utilize Uber Eats more than DoorDash or, you know, which ones do. For example, the Starbucks uh, out in Campus Town there. I saw that come up probably two or three times in the morning on Saturday morning. So I'm thinking, okay, I need to be in Campus Town near the Starbucks. These are some pretty good paying jobs. I've seen Chick-fil-A come up quite a few times, and I also believe Chipotle has made an appearance. I've never seen another delivery platform driver in Panera Bread. I think they run with DoorDash exclusively. In my DoorDash career, visiting the various Asian food restaurants in town, they run just about everybody, Grubhub, DoorDash, and Uber Eats. I believe Taco Bell and Arby's use all the platforms. So it's gonna be interesting to see where this Uber Eats hits. And like I said, spring break this upcoming week. College kids are gone. Dashers are gone. Uber Eats drivers are gone. They're all partying down at Daytona Beach. So I think a strategy that I'm going to employ here is kind of hang out in Campstown, like I said. There's two Starbucks in this town at least. One's uh, down on Lincoln Way in the heart of uh, town there, and then the other one's out in Campstown. The Campstown one was the one that I always saw pop up because they did give the address, you know, to the uh, store that you need to go to. So if nothing else, uh, Uber Eats might be good for coffee runs from Starbucks in the morning because uh, Starbucks does not utilize DoorDash. I've never been there, never had an offer for uh, Starbucks on DoorDash. 
All right, so I got a good grasp of Ames Market, you know, through DoorDash, and that's going to give me a little bit leg up here on Starbucks. It's going to be learning my market, knowing my market, and working my market as far as Uber Eats is concerned. It's Sunday as I make this video, and I decided not to go in and do anything today, just sitting at home. I got laundry to do, and I think the big Sunday meal today is going to be chicken parmesan. Oh, yeah. All right, guys and gals, that's all I've got for you today. Hopefully you can take something from this video and put it to use for yourself. Thanks for coming along for the ride, and hope to see you next time.